Okay, I hope you liked uh, my little tutorial on how to do a cartoon set. Um, today we're gonna do just like a real quick um, introduction on how to do a freehand perspective. Not gonna go super in deep on this one, it's more gonna be just getting the key points for quick initial ones, like those thumbnails I did in the cartoon set tutorial if you've watched. Well, I have just opened up a sheet in Morfolio Trace and I've set a grid to 0.5. And if you don't know how to do that, you just go up into here into the project setup under set grids. You'll get a, um, dimensions up here. And again, I did mine to 0.5. And all we're going to do really simply is just to learn how different objects, geometry or forms, look differently from different viewpoints. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the top. Okay, here is our horizon line, here is our vanishing point, and now all of our cubes are gonna move in perspective to that vanishing point. So essentially, every corner is going to meet us back at this point. Okay, so right now, I am just taking all the corners of all of our boxes and I am meeting them at our vanishing point. Now I'm just going to get a black pen and go over our perimeter lines. And the key points are horizon line or eye level, the vanishing point, which is our point on the horizon line where our lines go back to, and line weights. The perimeter lines get heavy weights and interior lines get lighter weights. Now that we have the real basics down, we are gonna start with a quick thumbnail one point perspective. So we need our vanishing point, eye level, on our horizon line, and then our perspective lines that go back to that point. So I've created one here, which I'll put a link in at the bottom below so that you can download a copy if you just want to start with this basics. So there we have our um, preliminary room. So now we are just going to do a quick sketch of this space. So, Okay, so we are going to start with doing a quick thumbnail. Um, again, these are quick perspective um, sketches, just like a thumbnail one as in the cartoon set. So I'm not gonna grid it out or not gonna have it perfectly measured. It's just to start to get the idea of going back to this vanishing point. I'll do a later one where we go a little more in depth with measuring out and getting a proper perspective grid in place. For now, loose and quick. So I'm going to imagine we're doing a bedroom here. So I'm gonna to start to sketch out that. We've got a new layer set up. I'm gonna use the pencil tool because I love it and it's really quite fun for um, sketching. We create our perspective line. Oh, oh, that's Charlie getting involved here. She has opinions. She always has opinions. Right, Char girl? Okay. Uh, strong, strong opinions today. And just to tidy it up, I'm going to just start deleting some of the lines that you wouldn't see. You know, we, again, are just doing a quick one. Um, but as you can see here, we can just start to add more and more layers of detail. Um, a huge fan of wallpaper, so I would lightly um, want to use that. So I'm just going to indicate that with some texture here, like a nice grass cloth. Let's say a beautiful Philip Jeffries. So there we have it. 